Hi folks, this is Puppy Terriers, and this here's Tex. Tex, he's about to have his bath. Today's bath day. And this is what we usually do. Just calm him down a little bit, play with him. And in the sink he goes. First thing you want to do is let him down there and relax. So he kind of knows his surroundings. At the same time, you get in the water. Good and warm. Matter of fact, pretty warm. Yeah, that there's not, he, actually he can take that. And then you get him used to water. Let the water run a little bit. Where he knows it ain't gonna hurt him. And you start easing the water upon him. See how he's relaxing, that water feels good to him. And you want to get him excited so you pick him up and control him. You have to take him off the floor, let him have a little bit of foot on the ground, wet his little head, behind his ears, wet the side of his face, keeping it out of his nose. He likes that good hot water. Let it run over him for a minute or two, let him adjust to the heat. See how calm he is? My goodness, I got a, <laughs> mad, yeah, I got a mad one in the back down there. <laughs> and then you get your soap. You get a, a good fair amount. Uh-oh, little fella. You get your hands right, you pick him up, and you make sure he gets soap everywhere. All over his body before you even start washing him. And on top of his little head, pull his hair together like that. Get soap in it. And then you go on the side of his face. Trying to keep it out of his mouth. Try to keep it out of his eyes. And you wash him. Make sure to get behind his ears. Real good. You know the old saying, Mama will tell you to go wash behind your ears. <laughs> and you take it and you turn him upside down with confidence. Turn it over. Good boy, Tex. Let it sit there and wash him up real good. He's so calm. He, if he wasn't calm, if he's shaking, then you need to back up and do it a little different. See how calm he is? Get a soap, time to work. And then he's ready to be washed and rinsed off. Get your water back good and warm. I happened to get it right the first time that time. <laughs> And you rinse him off. He's enjoying that good hot water. Might be a little bit warm on him. That's more like it. This is a little bit cooler. But they act up if the water's too cool, too. You don't want to freeze him. Hold his little head up. You can catch him by the neck like that. And hold him still for a minute. It'll get the soap out of his, off of him. And then the side of his face, both sides of his face. Make sure to keep it out of his little nose. Now, if you don't, you're drowning. Or you're liable to strangle him anyway. And then make sure you get all the water, all the soap off of him. You keep confidence. You keep your hands on him all the time. Now, if, if the water was a little bit cool, in that case it was, it's a little bit cool. I'm going to do this just to heat him up, warm him up before he goes to the towel. Get his little body good and warm before he goes to the towel. He's enjoying that water better. Now he ain't got no soap on him. Make sure his undercarriage ain't no soap on his undercarriage. You get even hold him upside down. Don't hurt him. Turn him upside down. Get the water started on him so as he'll lay back and enjoy it. That way he learns to trust you also. So if you need to look at his undercarriage and check his undercarriage, you can turn him upside down every time you want to. And he's, he ain't scared. All right, he is clean now. Now we're gonna take him to the towel. Let him drip for a second or two. Drip dry, huh? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna speed it up a little bit. We're gonna pick him up about two minutes earlier. You don't want him to get cold sitting in the sink. Then you take the towel, you go around him, just like that. 
just like this, soaking up that water off his little fur. <laughs> he burped. Yeah, did he? <laughs> yeah. Take his little eyes. He's going to close his eyes. Just be gentle and light with him. Now we were actually washing his face, kind of dry washing him with a little bit of water on it. Because his head is kind of a tedious area. We go into his ears and dry his little ears, inside his little ears. If you, if you dry him right, then whenever it comes time for him to shake, he won't even care to shake. Because he won't have no water in his ears. His, his moisture be dried on his little head. Then you put the towel over him. He's kind of in a blinded area. Take a hair dryer. Try to shake this one. It's actually what you want to do is heat up. Heat up the, the towel. Heat the towel up first. That way he'll, he'll sit there and he'll enjoy the heat going through it. And he'll calm down also. Then you lightly, slightly put the wind on his head a little bit. Don't scare him too bad. And don't get it too hot for him. He wants to come out. So we'll let him stay out for a minute. 